I wasn't really bothered about the way I looked. My hair was dry and frizzy and really crazy looking and it didn't matter to me. But there was one girl, she was always on my case. One day she said to me, why are you always acting like you're black on the outside and white on the inside? Bye. Lots of things like that happened to me. I was always getting lots of grief for being different. Me and this guy were at Bramkett Hills having a good time, talking about everything and nothing. When we started talking about heritage, his mum and dad were African. Now the blue, he turned and said to me, do you feel less privileged, you know, me being half Jewish mixed? He didn't seem to understand when I said I felt lucky because I was... Dual heritage. You know, both black and white. I remember there was a boy in my class who really liked Tupac. I didn't even know who Tupac was, because at the time I really liked Boyzone, an all white boy band. And the other kids in my class laughed at me. It's unbelievable the grief I got for being. Half breed? Me. I'm adopted. My adopted parents are both white. So I didn't know anything about black hair care. I was always using white hair gel, and I got grief for that. And because I didn't speak with a Latino accent, I spoke kind of posh. But I don't now. I've adopted. It really lowered my self-esteem being Colored. young and impressionable, and not knowing anything else. This is a big world. There's no need blazing me. I'm too old for the night. Felt pretty angry because I couldn't see why it mattered being registered in both. He asked me which I preferred, you know, if I had to choose. He got me thinking, it's all about definitions. Quarter Being black and white and having to say in it at the end of every sentence. It really got me thinking, do you have to choose? Do, do you? you? People look at me and think, Half Little Ruga from St Anne's. If someone said something to me now, I'd answer back. What I don't understand is, what do people expect? You have to do 